Happy Halloween, everybody! Today we are going to take a quick look at The Monsters. This was written and directed by Rob Zombie and stars Sherry Moon Zombie, Jeff Daniel Phillips, and Daniel Roebuck. This is based on the 1960s TV show of the same name and is sort of a prequel to the TV show that shows how Herman met Lily in Transylvania. And hilarity ensues. Kind of. I do remember watching the original as a kid, obviously not when it originally aired, I'm not that old, but it was airing in syndicated reruns, usually paired with The Addams Family. I wasn't particularly looking forward to this after the trailer because, oh my god, it looked incredibly cheap. Which is not entirely Rob's fault, he didn't have that much money to work with, certainly not as much as was originally reported. I remember he did an interview after the trailer came out and he was like, yeah, I wish I had that much money to work with. I ended up watching it because it's on Netflix, it wasn't going to cost me anything, so why not? And... It didn't suck. But it wasn't all that great either. And its biggest problem is it primarily focuses on Herman and Lily's origin story. I didn't care before, and after seeing the movie, I still don't. I did not need to see how Herman was made, especially if they were just going to rehash the plot of Young Frankenstein. Because yeah, they do that. Same exact thing, the assistant grabs the wrong brain. I did not need to see how Herman and Lily met. I did not need to see them interacting with other monstrous creatures in Transylvania. I mean, that wasn't really the point of the show. What made the show fun was we got to see all these monstrous creatures interacting with normal everyday people, and we don't really get to that until the last third of the movie. And it does finally get good when we get to that point, but it takes entirely too long to get there. This movie is almost two hours long, and it really shouldn't be. And this version of Transylvania was really weird, and not really in a good way. It seems to be stuck in a bygone era, and yet there are characters who use modern slang. I felt like Robin Williams in Jumanji. What year is it? And this may sound a little weird coming from me, because I know I have often complained about Zack Snyder's aversion to color, but I think this movie has the opposite problem. It has too much color. There are bright pastel colors everywhere, and it's never really clear where they are coming from. I swear it looks like a disco ball threw up on this movie. Of course, Rob Zombie loves his classic horror, and he is clearly a huge fan of the monsters. For better or worse, this is his love letter to that show. And the actors are clearly fans as well, and seem to be having a great time. Phillips was pretty good as Herman, I liked Roebuck as the Count, Sherry nailed Lily, I mean, dead on. And they found a small part in the movie for Elvira, which was pretty cool. And once the monsters finally leave Transylvania, thanks to a scheme by Lily's brother Lester that goes horribly wrong, as they often do, and they start interacting with the real world, it feels a lot more like the classic TV show, and I actually enjoyed that part. But that also made everything that came before feel kind of pointless. Even the characters didn't really seem to care about their previous life in Transylvania at that point. The Count just lost this huge castle he had, and he got over that remarkably quick. In the end, I give the last third of the movie two thumbs up, and the rest of it a solid meh. It had its moments, but not nearly enough of them. Although, if you have Netflix and two hours to kill, you could do a lot worse. You could watch the Mexican episode of Bake Off. Now that was true horror. And that's all I have to say about the monsters. Until next time, take care.